Hey, so as I have a thing else to vlog today about, I might as well do part two of my AS Electronics Division Guide. Now in a effort to keep these uh, short, because nobody wants to watch me speak for an entire 10 minutes like I did yesterday, I'm going to recover resistance and ohms law today, and then move on to the other stuff after. So, resistance, uh, represented by a symbol R, is measured in the units ohms, represented by the Greek symbol omega. So, resistance is basically how difficult it is to push electricity between two points. And so the first formula of today is one you all should know and love, R equals V over I, which means 1 ohms is how much resistance it takes for one voltage to allow one amps to flow. Now, as you know from yesterday's uh, episode, P equals VI, power equals voltage times amps. Now, if we rearrange R equals V over I to V equals IR, and then we substitute the V from this formula with the V in this formula, we get P equals IR times I, which is basically P equals I squared times R. Alternatively, if we do that with amps, and amps is I equals VR, and we substitute that into P equals VI, we get P equals V over R times V. In other words, P equals V squared over R. So those are two of the formulas that you can get from combining those formulas together. Now, Ohm's law is a bit of a weird law. Firstly, Ohm's law states, that for a metallic conductor, the resistance is constant unless the external conditions, especially temperature, change. Which basically means it's the same unless something changes it. Which is like, duh. It's a bit of a weird law. And the, also, the other funny thing is, most components do actually obey this law in real life. And the resistance in the uh, components that you're testing will actually vary across it, even if everything else stays the same. So, that's just, this is more of a theoretical law. So I got a question in an exam paper which said the light bulb, uh, the resistance of the light bulb is less when you turn it on than when it has been running for a few seconds. And that's because obviously after a few seconds it's warmed up, resistance has changed. Changed. Now that's still applicable in real life, but it's not, a, it's not constant. It'll still be varying even if the temperature stayed the same. Now, the next, I'm going to cover one more point. Which aren't related to resistance or Ohm's law, but I might as well do because of my script here, so whatever. Um, firstly, conventional current. Now, conventional current is what we use in diagrams to show that basically current flows from positive all the way around to negative. However, in real life, it actually flows from negative to positive. But when electricity was first discovered, we didn't know that and we assumed it was positive to negative. Um, and so, for the sake of diagrams and calculations, we still follow the conventional current. It really makes little difference uh, either way. So we just go with the conventional convention, which is plus the negative. And that's today done. Hopefully this wasn't nine minutes. I'm not going to actually edit this. So until next time, bye.